ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard our non-stop service from New York to London. You fly much? All the time, actually. First of all, I think that there's a difference between an actor and a film star and somebody who can carry the movie. And I think he takes that responsibility. So for me, he's more than an actor, but a partner in telling the story. Someone on this flight is threatening to kill someone every 20 minutes. How do you kill someone in a crowded plane and get away with it? He's very conscious of what the audience is thinking and, you know, just to make sure that, that he's, he, once he grabs them, uh, that they understand each decision that his character makes. And for me, that's the, the most important thing in, in having a partner in, um, to tell the, the story. I think of myself as the principal audience for these movies, you know, and if I want to see it, if it, if the project's something that excites me personally, and I also have a 12-year-old son now, so I kind of have a, another little voice that I can listen to, and I think it's just, it's, it's part of our responsibility as filmmakers today is, is to, you know, not treat the audience shabbily. We have to, we have to give them things that we're proud of, that they're gonna really enjoy. And the phrase that we hear in all of our research is that people do not want to see things that are predictable. Ladies and gentlemen, I need every passenger to raise their hands above their head. This is a bad idea. Marshall, we have a right to know what the hell is going on. Agent Marks, the account number you gave us is in your name. What? That doesn't make any sense. As I was trying to figure this out in, uh, in the writing stage, I didn't know who the bad guy was either. You know, I created the characters first and, you know, I put them in the plane and I started unfolding the events without uh, knowing myself who and how it was going to happen. This is a setup. Something else is going on. I could wait to do anything in 3D, like I'm not in a rush. You know, right now it's better to just convert it and shoot it normally. I mean, unless it becomes standard that people watch it on television, when you're shooting a movie, you're framing it only for the few people that are gonna see it in the theater in 3D, then it's a big compromise because films or the product needs to be able to work across all platforms. Major Bart, our fighter escort has you in their sight. Do you hear me? We're running out of time. Do you hear me? I think it's better than it's ever been. I think we're getting into a, an era of a new golden age of show business. I mean, there are so many accessible delivery streams of movies now. I mean, there are television series that are great. There are movies that are great. There are, you know, it's, it's just an incredible time. 